Hello and welcome to another MSDP tutorial video. In today's video, we're going to be looking at the stereo echo effect, a module that allows us to craft different echo times between our left and our right audio channel. To demonstrate this effect, I've created a simple board that consists of an A plus two synthesizer, which is being controlled by a MIDI arpeggiator. You can learn more about the MIDI arpeggiator in our recently put out demonstration video, but for now, I'm going to turn this on so that we can hear the basic sound that we'll be working with. So this is a great sound, but it might sound even greater with an echo effect added to it. I've already routed this sound from the A plus two into the echo module. All I need to do to start to listen to this is to turn the volume up. So I'll set that volume now to full. If I play that again, we're going to hear that sound being echoed out of both the left and the right speaker four eighth notes or two beats after the note occurs. As I've already mentioned, one of the distinctive features of this module is the ability to set a different delay time for the left channel and the right channel. And if we look at the layout of the board, we can see that it's broken down into two sections, the left column for the left channel, the right column for the right channel. If we break down from here the options that we have, we can see that we can set a division for that delay based on a division of the master metronome. By default, it's set to eighth notes. The next option that we get are the number of divisions that we want to delay by. If we combine these two together, we can see that the left channel and the right channel right now are both set to echo at a delay time of four eighth notes. If I wanted to set that instead to something like dotted eighth notes, I can find that in the list. And now the delay time will be four dotted eighth notes. I could also do something like triplet eighth notes if I preferred that. This setup, now that I've changed it, has the same delay time as before in the right channel, but a slightly shorter delay time in the left channel. Let's turn the arpeggiator back on to hear what that sounds like. Before I begin to really play with this module, I want to go over the final options that we have for each channel. The feedback value is amount of amplitude that will be fed back in after the delay. With a feedback amount of 25%, we'll get a decay that's pretty quick. But if I turn that up, say to 70%, we'll get a much longer decay on that note, which means that we'll hear it many more times before it's finally gone. We can still hear that decaying there. And then finally, volume is the overall volume for that channel as it goes out. If we wanted to make one channel louder than the other, we could set that in the volume knob. So now not only has this decay taken longer, but it's also louder than what's in the right channel. Finally, the mode toggle determines how we set the time for the delay on the channel. The default metro mode determines the delay time based on the division and the division number of the time on the master metronome. But if I toggle this to milliseconds, we can now set a delay time based on absolute time, specifically in milliseconds meaning that we can be very, very, very precise and we can get effects that don't fit together in time. As one final notice, when we set the value to milliseconds, the division value is ignored. So we'll get this as our value of delay time and that is all. So between all of these options, we have a variety of ways in which we can have this echo changing over time. And to finish this demonstration, I'll just make some changes in real time so we can hear some different results. Oh, my God.
As you can see, we have quite a variety of possibilities using this effect, and it's one of, if not the most powerful echo effects in our collection. Thank you for watching, and we'll be back soon with more tutorial videos.